Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Mixcraft 5. If you're using Mi Mixcraft 4, there really isn't much of a difference, except for a couple of new features. Um, I'm pretty sure the, the instrument track, well, the, apart from the instrument track, there's nothing new. So, I'm just going to show you the basics of what you can do with Mixcraft 5 and how good a program it is, because I think it's very easy to use as a starter for creating music. Enjoy. Hello everyone, just going to show you the basics of Mixcraft. First of all, we're going to cover audio tracks. As you can see here, I've got some here. And yeah, I've got your two instrument tracks down here. Now, if you use a Mixcraft 4, there isn't much of a difference, except for the fact that instrument track is new. So we're not going to go on to instrument track for now, so let's just cover the basics of an audio track. Now, the audio track is how your music is going to play and where you're going to assemble your music. Now, as you can see, there's all different little buttons here. It looks all confusing. But it's actually quite basic compared to some audio editors and music creating software. Alright, so let's say you want a loop. Now, down here in your library, you've got all different sorts of loops. Now, you don't have them automatically. You have to download them. So, you can go over here and click download all. And you can do it for whatever category whether it's the tempo key mood style instrument so let's do instrument now let's say i want that drums in there that i've already got so go down to drums and pick whatever one you like i picked bass drum and hi-hat that one there and then you simply drag it up like that and it'll appear now of course it'll come out like this to start with but you just need to drag it and that'll loop. Now, let's say we want the second track in. I went to guitar and uh, I picked one and just the same basically. Now, if it comes up saying this. No, sorry. If it comes up giving you a message to change the tempo, don't do it. The tempo is basically another word for BPM, except the tempo covers the whole project and will change how everything sounds with key and beats per minute. So, let's watch how the music plays. Now, since I'm using the microphone, you probably can't hear that very well, but as you can see, there's a little track going across. And here's your timeline. Um, if you want to change your timeline to beats, you know, first bar, second bar, third bar, I just stick with time, whatever one you find easy. Easier. Now, volume on your tracks are right here. So let's say we want the drums not to be too loud. I've set it to 77. Um, we want the guitar to be a wee bit louder, so put the 111. And now you can also change what side of the speaker it's mostly going to go on. This is because of the balance, so it only covers for stereo. Where you've got a left speaker and a right speaker. Take us over more to the, the right. Sound more to the right. Put this one to the left. And it just gives the music a bit of balance, so it's not all over the place and sounding really distorted. So we'll see how it makes a bit of a difference. Now that's the basics of tracks. The other other features include track effects such as you know making it echo, and you've got arm, which is arm means what you're going to be recording with, and then you've got mute. Mute will basically do that. So let's say we just want to listen to this track or any other tracks included, or you want to just do that track, do solo, and I'll play only that track. And here you've got volume of the track. Now, this is, first of all, let's cover what the loop track volume, the loop volume is. As you can see, the little bar and there's little points. Now, let's say we want to fade in, so let's make it fade in to here. And you see, just bring it down like that. And it's going to build up from 0% to 100. Now, it's not good if you just do that, so you want to make it more natural. So put in maybe two or three more points. And you... 
just make more of a ramp rather th rather than a slope. And you'll hear how it sounds. And that's how that works. And you can do all sorts of things, you know, fade out, makes it go down, up, down. It's very basic. And then you've got track volume, so if you you wanna edit the whole track with all different loops in it, you just do the same, put in all the points and drag wherever. So it is quite basic to use, and you can make some pretty decent music using this program. And that's basic. That's the basics of making the tracks. So stay tuned to part the chapter two, where I'll cover more of the basics.